Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all my returning crew members, if you are new here, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast. We do lots of diecast unboxings on here. Anything from Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Jada, Fast and the Furious, Fan Home, Pink Slips, all that good stuff. Full cases, full collections, a bunch of cool stuff on here. Alrighty, so today we're going to be continuing the Jada Pink Slips unboxing. These are the 1-18th scale. 1-18th, guys. We've opened one of them before. I'll show it right here. This was the Porsche. If you want to see this video, definitely check it out. It is really cool. Um, so far this year, they have only released three of them. They released the Porsche, the Challenger, and then they did release a R34, or sorry, R35 Skyline. So this one is really cool. I am excited to get these opened. Um, I did purchase these a while ago. They were a few months ago. Um, I haven't seen them. They were in stores for about a month or so. And I haven't seen them in stores since. So if you guys were lucky to find these in stores, um, that is awesome. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy them on third-party market. And I think they are starting to go up in price. But this one is pretty cool. It is the 2015 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, which is really nice. Jada does make a lot of the Challengers. <clears throat> we do have some of them already opened. Not just for pink slips, but Hollywood rides and all that good stuff. So, oh, this is going to be a nice um, unboxing. Here is a little information about it. And the one thing that I did mention on the other one is, yes, this is a Jada product, but it is also a um, Salido. I believe that's how you say it. That is another company that makes a lot of different die casts. They are a French company, I believe. Um, so some of these are offered in different color schemes actually through Solito. So that is pretty cool. So if you guys want to see more die cast, definitely check out um, that company. They make a lot as well. So we're just going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Maybe we'll do it live because I don't think... There is much to this, <clears throat> but if there is, we'll cut out and come back to it. But the box is not taped. It was not taped from the stores. That way you guys can kind of see what it looks like coming out of the package. And I think what I did on the last one was the Jada box has this like cool pink slip city scheme. I think I went ahead and cut that out and then I like taped it to the back of this crate. So you do get this crate here, which is really nice. Um, good way to display it. You can reattach it to the base, um, which is really nice. And I think you can have it like two different ways. You can have the base on the bottom or you can like spin it around and put the so it's the legs and then the car on top i'm sure you can stack all these so that is pretty cool the other nice thing about this is it does come with a little tool on the bottom which is used to open the doors and stuff like that so you don't um hurt your fingers or anything like that it's a little door opening tool which is pretty cool so it is attached to the base with some screws so I am going to cut out, get the um, screws unscrewed from the base, and then we'll take a closer look at the vehicle. Alrighty, guys, and we are back. So we got everything unboxed. Like I said, it does come on this nice um, display thing if you want to display it after. It does have the pink slip logo on there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put that off to the side just so the camera doesn't try to focus on that. But here is the vehicle. It is pretty cool. So again, looking at the bottom, um, we have the 118th scale. It just says Dodge Challenger. And again, it is by Salido. There is no Jada markings on the vehicle at all. So I guess the only way to really know the item number 
is to look at the bottom of the Jada box, which they are saying it is 35722. 35722. And then that might be the Salido number, that 63 number. Not 100% sure. Is that on the bottom? Yep, so that might be the Salido number 6324074G14. But pretty pretty big number. So um, this is the second time opening the 118 scale. Um, as for Salido, I only have one, but I don't have it unboxed yet. I really don't collect um, the Salido ones. The, the biggest reason I don't like to collect them is there's no extra um, opening features in the car, which I do not like. So that is one big reason why I don't like the Salido ones. Um, they are a lot cheaper though, compared to like auto art and stuff like that, if you like to click those. But um, this is definitely a vehicle that is just to be made and looked at from the outside and the interior. So let's go ahead, take a closer look at this. Um, the whole base is um, plastic and then the body is gonna be die cast and then your inserts and stuff will be plastic. The grill inserts are plastic. You have the clear headlights. You do have the SRT logo on the front grill. It is this like two-tone color. You got a nice black hood with like hood scoops. The front of the hood scoops are plastic. You do have plastic wiper blades. All right, going along to the side, you have these five-spoke wheels, which are kind of nice. Um, it does have HRE on the wheel. And then you do have the calipers and rotors. They don't paint them or nothing, which kind of would have been cool if they painted them orange to like match the car. Um, and then the wheel is like two-tone. It's matte black and chrome. You do have the Hellcat logo on the front fender as well on the back quarter with SRT. So all the windows are closed in here. You do have pink slips on the um, windshield banner. That's the only place that kind of shows it without the car being like that. It does have a sunroof, does have a little antenna back there. Um, so like I said, they do give you this tool. If you want to go with like you stick it in here like that to open the door. Um, with these though, um, they're pretty light doors. So I just usually open them by the mirror. But I will say that the inside is very detailed. Hopefully you guys can see it closely. But we do have gauges back there with even the SRT logo in the back of the gauge. The steering wheel is multicolored. You can actually see like the play button, um, like cruise. It does have the SRT logo uh, or the SRT word on the middle of the steering wheel. You can see that the center console has a bunch of graphics on it. Um, you can kind of see like the climate control and all that here. I'll zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see that. It does have two-tone interior kind of with the white. And then um, the door jams or the doors, you can see they even put like a little bit of paint for the window controls and the door handles. Also another cool thing is they do have the SRT logo on the seat and you can even see like the seat belt. Um, back there which has a little bit of red so they do give you a little bit better of an interior on these but like I said you do not get any engine or anything like that so you can't see what that stuff is like all right I gotta refocus all right and we're refocused I don't know sometimes on the phone it doesn't like to focus after I zoom in but here is the back window this one looks to be tinted along with these little side windows here um, when we did open the thing, you do have plastic for the side windows, um, hard plastic mirrors going along to the back. You do have, um, chrome exhaust tips. The exhaust is gray. You do have the SRT logo on the spoiler, which seems to be plastic. Then you have the Dodge logo, and then you do see the Jada license plate. It says Jada Toys Pink Slips, which is also crooked. That is not on there straight. You got a little bit of lens for the reflectors back there. Um, and you do have this like lip that goes around 
the bottom, which is matte, and it kind of feels plastic to me. Or it could just be the fact that it's matte black compared to the gloss. But that is pretty cool. All right, going along to the passenger side, it's going to be exactly the same. Take a look in there and kind of see some more stuff. But overall, not bad. Like I said, for a car that you want to display out, um, it does look really cool. I wish they did have engines in here where you can see that kind of stuff. But it is what it is. They are a little bit cheaper. I think Jade is like $10 or um, $15 cheaper than the, um, the other version. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is the wheels do move left and right. And the steering wheel does move with it. So that's the only kind of cool feature it has is the moving um, wheels in the front. But Salido. So like I said, I think the Salido ones are a little bit more expensive by like $10 to $15. Um, I don't remember what these things retailed in stores. I don't remember if it was like $39.99 or something like that. But there we go. There is a second version. We will be doing the unboxing eventually on the third 118th scale that has released. I haven't heard anything else about Jada releasing any more 118th cars. I know I know they used to back in the day because we got the Skylines. We have the Fast and the Furious ones that light up and all that stuff that we still have to unbox here on the channel. So there it is. But if you are new to the channel here and you're not already a crew member, go ahead, take two seconds, hit that subscribe button. That way you can join the crew, hit the bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We are growing the channel more and more every day, which I do appreciate everybody. I think our next milestone is to hit 8,000 subscribers, 8,000 crew members. We're almost there, about 600 off. So definitely share this with your friends, family, all that good stuff. I appreciate everybody out there. Check out our links down below to all of our social media and all that good stuff. Facebook will have picture albums on every single car we unbox here. So if you want to see more pictures, item numbers, all that stuff, definitely check that out. But there is the video here at Spend Too Much Diecast. I do appreciate everybody who watches, and we'll see everybody on the next unboxing. Bye.